behalf of the people of Guam, welcome to JFK. For the first time in three years, the halls of the new JFK High School were filled with students. Saturday's ribbon-cutting ceremony and celebration was a long time coming. Governor Eddie Pazacalvo. You've made it through double sessions, moving from one school to another, and you continue to press on and on. And still the JFK Islanders stood behind their beliefs and said, this is our school, and this is where we belong. It was several years ago the home of the green and gold was shut down after public health deemed the school no longer safe to occupy. Students were forced into double session at George Washington High School in Mingilao and then shoveled over to Tizen where a facility was leased as an interim campus. The school community from students, administrators and teacher Angelo Andres kept placing the political pressure on elected leaders to rebuild the school. It's been a, a long, um, you know, three years uh, to actually uh, uh, come back home and we were really excited. Along with island dignitaries, hundreds of students filled the campus getting a first-hand glimpse of what's to come. Assistant Principal for Special Programs, Asher D. Rossetti. It was worth the wait. When they see the facility, it's amazing and I think the students will be very impressed. Interim Superintendent Taling Taitano said the ribbon-cutting ceremony marked the end of the quest to rebuild JFK and the beginning of a new journey. And that journey for more than 2,300 students starts Monday, August 29th, when the home of the Islanders officially opens its doors. Welcome to John F. Kennedy High School!